So if you've ever used iMovie and are recording a video and an audio file separately, you may have noticed trying to sync those two together might be a real pain in the butt. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily sync both your audio and video files in iMovie to save you a lot of headache and a lot of time. So stay tuned. So before we jump into iMovie, one tip that makes your life easier is once you hit record on both say your camera and audio recording device, it's a clap twice. And then once you're done shooting your video, before you hit stop recording, clap twice again. And it doesn't have to be directly into your microphone, just clap twice um, pretty loudly if you can. And what that's gonna do is give us a reference point in our audio and video files of a visual spike in the sound waves and we're going to use those to sync our audio if you do forget to clap it's not the end of the world you can still see any spikes in your uh, audio levels you could go off of those but it does make it easier if you clap sometimes i forget to clap at the end but i'll find a spike in the audio file somewhere towards the end and just go off that so we'll go ahead and jump into imovie and you'll see i have a podcast that we recently did and i have the video file i'm going to drop that down into the project I'm going to highlight the audio, drop that down as well. Now I'm going to zoom in and there was some talking before we actually started. And then I didn't clap until about this area. So you see right here where there's a spike right there, spike here, that's where I clapped. So this is about how off the audio and video file are. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the audio and drag it over until these get pretty closely lined up. I'm going to zoom in some more. And then you're just gonna keep moving those until they're lined up about where you want them. And then just play it back by hitting space bar. And as long as you don't hear too much of an echo, you're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out cause that's pretty good where it's at and come down here to where we're talking. And that all sounds pretty good right there. So moving along, since this is a longer video, our audio becomes unsynced again. And this was the most frustrating thing for me before I found out the speed editor trick is trying to get these lined up. So what I would do and which would seem like you should be able to do is just click on this and drag it over and line everything up at the end. But then that would also throw everything off at the beginning that we just did. So in order to line up the audio here, we need to change the speed of this audio file. So we're going to come up here to the top and hit the speed button right here. And we're going to change it from normal to custom and then we're going to highlight that change 100 to 101 and then we're going to take our audio file click on that then right click and then choose show speed editor and you'll see this other circle button at the top of your audio file right there that's going to allow us to adjust the speed of this audio file so you'll see based on like say this spike right here since these are pretty noticeable i'm going to make this go a little bit more um I'm going to have to go to the right. So I'm just gonna, you wanna drag this kind of slowly cause it doesn't take much. So I'm just gonna get it to where I am pretty close. And then I'm gonna go, I think I actually clap towards the end here. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I may have gone too far, but I'm gonna look for another spike in the audio right here. So that's where I clap and it is still off. So I need to make it go to the right some more. So I'm gonna come back over here. I'm just gonna cut video there. Cut the audio there. So that way I don't have to move around so far. And then I'm just gonna go off these two right here. I'm gonna drag it to the right some more until it looks like it gets pretty close. And I'm gonna zoom in just make sure that's good. So we need to come to the right, just a hair. So we'll see if that did anything. So that's much better. So now I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to check it. So it looks like you'll see everything is more lined up and go. And there's not too much of an echo right there. So that all sounds pretty good. I'm good with that. 
and then just go back and kind of watch and make sure your lips are synced with your audio as well, which I have my settings set to that because I had issues with that as before. So I'm going to drop that volume down and go ahead and listen to that. That's all going to sound good. And then just to show you, I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'll bring this audio file back up so you can see it. But where we clapped all of this audio at the beginning, you can see the sound waves are all lining up. So that speed editor we did at the end did not mess with anything here at the beginning. So there's where I clapped right there. So finding out about that speed editor tool was such a relief for me because I, again, was having such a hard time trying to figure that out. And a lot of tutorials on iMovie only showed you how to line up the audio if everything was synced speed wise. So it looked good when they did it at the beginning and the end. But my file, for some reason, there was, um, I guess, a delay in our audio recording speeds. So mine was still off at the end. So I had to fi figure out how to do that speed editor. And that makes it so much easier. Final Cut Pro has a much easier process, but this is iMovie, so most Mac computers has this built in for free, and it's a great software. I still use it, and this is what I learned off of. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in that comment section. I'll also try and come out with some other videos with some cool tips and tricks with iMovie, because it is a great software and free, which is also awesome. So if you guys found this video helpful, smash that like and subscribe button, and check this playlist out over here, where we go over some microphone reviews in case you're looking to upgrade your audio gear. Thanks for watching.